Alright, so we're checking out the only game where you can create Coca-Cola products that contain deadly amounts of chlorine in them. It's The Chemist. Sandbox mode, damn it. In The Chemist, you play a young man who went to college for many years for chemistry, only to realize that the world did not value his degree in any way. Ugh, that sounds way too realistic. Let's say Uncle Joe Stalin. <laughs> Hold on. Made in Mother Russia. This game is instantaneous. What the? Why is the bottle of Uncle Joe Stalin's <laughs> liquor standing on its own? Oh, Daddy Joe Stalin, freaking going up against gravity and winning. So in the game, we're a chemist. You can make things and sell them. But what I want to do is I want to make stuff that is absolutely deadly and see if I can get people to buy it thinking that it's a food product. Someone's going to be like, but great, that's what manufacturers already do. Somehow I've also discovered how to make unbreakable glass. Whatever. God, not even a slice of pizza left. Welcome everyone to our sterile and very professional working environment where we will be be mixing the things that children will be drinking with labels on it saying that it promotes strong bone growth and stuff. Because it's sandbox mode, I can give myself a lot of Daenerys Targaryen money or whatever here. Do you know who the ancestors of ketchup are? Of course, the fish sauce. Our boss gave the order. We will spread the sauce all around the world. Now is the time to rise from our ashes? What the hell? P.S. English required. Our English is bad. Oh, we're gonna make some fish sauce. Filled with delicious bleach. All right, so over here, this is the area where you come up with your idea for the concoction. So we've got, uh, you know, sauce plus uh, bleach like this equals Daenerys doll. That's her. That's my, my representation, my drawing. Of her. Gonna need some monosodium glutamate. Gonna throw a little chlorine in there. Perfect. Some pheromones. Unexpectedly extends the shelf life of manufactured products. I think I need like a legitimate preservative in here too. Hold on. All right, first things first. You want a nice base of chlorine to start things off with. There we go. A little MSG. See, if we use two different preservatives, it'll preserve for twice as long. Whenever you have a little bit too much, you just pour out kind of what's left, leave a little bit in there. That's probably perfect. A little sweet ambrosia. Once you got your mixture, you gotta just kind of throw it inside of the, uh, the creature over here. Crap, grab your goo, run, run it outside, throw it into the box. Boom, money in the bank. How many lives is it gonna cost? It's not a problem. Fruit yogurt, healthy, tasty. Low calorie pleasure. As you'd guess, it's not very difficult to produce that fresh taste. You know what fruit yogurt needs? Sulfuric acid. Actually, you know what? Crude oil is always very good for your yogurt. I think they're really going to enjoy the fact that besides being a delicious yogurt, this can also be utilized as a lubricant because of the crude oil. Good job. <laughs> I'm glad they enjoyed it. Fresh fruit juice. Organic. People now are more careful about their health and they prefer organic products. Previously, we made a fruit juice without a fruit, <laughs> but now it's no longer in demand as ever. We don't know how to do this. God forbid, fruit juice with real fruit. I'm sure we could sneak something deadly in there. Let's sort by explosive. Hmm. Ethylene. Moderately toxic. Perfect. Corrosive. I love it. You know what I just realized? In order to wipe off this freaking whiteboard, you only get an eraser that's the size of your pinky finger. So here, we've got fruit plus Satan. See, now it's Daenerys, but it's the last season Daenerys. Those are the devil horns. Whenever you have empty bottles like this, you just gotta kind of, there you go. See, this is gonna be the first organic toxic, corrosive, chemical-based cleaning fruit juice. I suppose I should put some actual fruit in this. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna lie and say I put real fruit in. It's just more sugar. Put it in the old shake and bake over here. Let the cockroaches wander across the top. This thing keeps overheating. I think it's because the cockroach bodies keep piling up inside of the, the, the mixer. I'm pretty sure I just saw a cockroach levitate in the air. That's what happened when they started drinking this stuff. Boom. I love getting a good job. 
job for killing countless amounts of people. What is six inches long? Hard, goes into your mouth back and forth and has white stuff in the end. Of course, toothbrush with toothpaste, guys. <laughs> Wait a second, this is perfect. Toothpaste uh? with acid on it. Because people's teeth will be degenerating, they'll have to buy more toothpaste. This is why we make the big money. Because we have we have the, the forward thinking concepts. All right, we're gonna use some sulfuric acid. That should work. Let's see here, I need a gel. Uh, yeah, whatever this acid is, that'll work. Moist bomb moist keeper. I don't know what it is, but it's going into toothpaste. There you go. It's got conductivity, <laughs> corrosive wax foam gel, soap, moisturizer, and irrigation care. All in one delicious toothpaste that goes in and out of your mouth. Boom. Something I've noticed, and this probably has to do with us potentially ingesting some of the chemicals that we've created for the purposes of testing the side effects. I don't have a reflection in the mirror. Maybe that's just a Russian thing. Fruit syrup. It's very easy to make, and it's delicious. Besides, you can't guess what it's made out of when it's prepared, as long as it ta What the hell is this? <laughs> the best toothpaste ever! You never know what is good for you. This toothpaste dissolves tartar from your teeth. I don't know what's inside of it, but I found it quite effective. Oh, that's just the sulfuric acid. <laughs> anyway, as long as it tastes like fruit, we don't care about what's in the inside of it. We'll sell it to wholesalers. Perfect. This is exactly what I want. I appreciate different contractors that don't ask too many questions about what I'm putting into this stuff. I told you, man, we're making it work anyway. Look at our toothpaste. This is the best toothpaste that's ever been made. I can't remember. I think we may have put some crude oil in there as well. Hydrochloric acid. That sounds good. Prometheus is like extremely flammable. I think I'm gonna throw a little bit of that in there too. All right, here we go. Just a, a tiny, a, a dash of Prometheus. A little bit of hydrochloric acid. Where's that mummy stuff? I want more harmful preservatives. Okay, I think we've got it. We got the remover, the chemical-based cleaner, long-term harmful preservatives. Should have everything a growing boy needs. Between this and our toothpaste, no one's gonna have any teeth left in this country. I hope to hear back from them soon. Pasta sauce. The person who will produce does not have to be Italian. Thank you for specifying that. Right, I've got some random crap laying around here. I gotta make a little bit of space. I'm gonna start with a little capsicum extract. I think this is the stuff that's in uh, pepper spray. Should be delicious. Don't quote me on this. I know we've been making some fantastic discoveries here, but I haven't had a chemistry class in about 25 years. Industry standard for hardening chemicals. I mean, all right, we'll have really, really tough pasta sauce. Is it? Is it, does that say hard, oh, for God's sakes. We have not at all used enough chlorine recently. Legit, this pasta sauce has it all. It's got that spicy herbal taste, but it also can be used to beat someone to death with. And it'll disinfect your mouth, eh? I even got a little bit more space to throw something else in there. Hold on, what else can we put in? Been a while since we used ammonia. There we go. Now we even got that corrosiveness in there. This is the pasta sauce that you give to the in-laws that you just can't stand. Because technically, when their organs dissolve, it's not really your fault. It's actually my fault. The man who made a testament to make a lubricant from his ashes passed away. While the entire world is talking about this interesting news, the family is nervous about sharing the legacy. <laughs> this is the freaking strangest randomized stuff I've ever heard of. We really have no idea why people say drink bleach to each other on the internet. Maybe our advertising department misunderstood our brief. But anyways, our sales are going to be crazy and we need to restock fast. You know what? We'll make flavored bleach. Hell yeah! I think this is something that society has always wanted. Uh, maybe, maybe like a nice ginger overtone or something. Where the hell is my bleach at? I've got so much crap here. Put a little fructose in it. Perfect. Wait, aren't you not supposed to mix chlorine and ammonia? That'll be fine. I'm gonna put a little hot pepper in there too. Delicious bleach. I think we managed to get damn near everything inside of this bleach. I'm pretty happy about it. All right, delicious bleach going out. I'm not gonna lie, I really hope I get some decent feedback on my flavored bleach. I think we're tapping into a new market here. Mouthwash. We've realized that with a little change in our toilet and bathroom cleaner, we can produce a mouthwash. These people think just like me. Perfect. What the hell is this? Basement for rent. Police sirens getting closer. Some foot loud footsteps followed by a door being rammed and lots of shouting. The whole thing is over. 
Now it's all quiet again. I should check downstairs. Oh, okay. I need to make mouthwash that dissolves people's gum line, but I'm also somewhat curious to see what the hell's going on over here. Luxurious apartment for 5,000 Daenerys dollars. Absolutely. Luxurious apartment. I feel like I was lied to. I feel like I'm gonna get skinned down here. This is where the extra illegal stuff goes. Good to know. I feel like we've downgraded. This computer is from like 1991. Glowing ghoul. Oh, this is where you make drugs. <laughs> this highly corrosive alien material has a high aphrodisiac effect? Okay, I think I just found out what kind of mouthwash we're making. Aphrodisiac mouthwash. Hell yes. You don't get very much aphrodisiac. It's very strong. Okay. Hallucinogen and opioid for the mouthwash. Oh, glories. Couldn't have mouthwash like this when I was a kid. Uh, yeah, we'll put some chemical hardener in there. I don't know. I say if it's not, if it's not broke, don't fix it. So, uh, yeah, chlorine will work. This also doubles as an instance where we get our, we get our freaking workout in. You have to very carefully insert your chlorine. Look at those traits. This is exactly what we're looking for. This is gonna be potentially the best selling mouthwash that's ever made because damn people are gonna feel good. I mean, for the short time they're alive. They're gonna feel really good. Now comes the arduous process of bringing this upstairs without spilling the damn thing or smashing it on the wall. There's always that too. I'm pretty sure it's not that flammable. So if it was to fall, we would probably be okay. Mouthwash. Got it. Oh, jeez. Hold on. Boy. Oh, no. <laughs> there is one bald man with a goatee and he's making the best shit in the universe. We can't just sit and watch how he's getting all the success. You need to enter the business and take it over. You got 10 minutes to make this happen. What the hell? Um, I don't know if I have the time for this, but I'll pretend I do. I've got to get people my mouth washed. I'm doing too many things at once. I'm already trying to solve the world's disinfectant problems. Hold on. All right. There goes the mouthwash. Hopefully it's a big success. Long-term usage can cause permanent brain damage. We're using this. I don't know. Looks good to me. Got everything a growing boy needs in it. I'm still waiting for someone in a pig mask to come up behind me and start slicing my throat. I mean, do you leave this by the door or? Oh. Maybe you do. <laughs> oh, how come everything illegal in this world pays so much better than everything that's illegal? I'm not gonna lie. I want to turn off the gravity just to see what happens. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Hold on. <laughs> so what happens if you grab this and then you go like this here? <laughs> yeah. There's so many different chemicals spilling all over my house. It's glorious. This place is probably going to go up in a giant ass fireball, but at least I'll be going out happy. Here we go. Oh, I can almost get a drink over here of one of my concoctions. Nom nom. <laughs> See, uh, what a lot of people didn't know is one of the key ingredients in all of my various items is uh, LSD. <laughs> get that hardener over here. Oh, I kind of thought it would shatter. Crude oil does a body good as well. So today, what we basically found out is that uh, bleach uh, plus fruit flavoring equals profit. Well, the sound of the thunder there is probably <laughs> the Lord himself angry at how many innocents we've killed from our various concoctions. Folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of The Chemist. Till the next time, stay foxy and much love.